today we are promising our people a right to food a right to food with home grown food not imported food right to food with home grown food so i consider this year and that <coughs> that bill is also being spearheaded by professor thomas and his ministry and we are very proud of the fact of this historic transition i am also happy that street vendors today they're going to be a book release because they constitute a very large component of our uh, food security system they everywhere you will find not only railway stations and so on they provide food for so many people so i think it is important to help them to achieve certain standards of quality finally let me conclude by requesting the standard bureau national bureau uh, to uh, start a food security food safety literacy movement a food safety literacy movement in the country they are already doing it but i think i find still food safety literacy is very poor in many cases uh, if you find anywhere there's a mismatch between production technology and post harvest management technology in our country aflatoxins i mentioned earlier mycotoxins and aflatoxins aspergillus grows when you have not dried the grain properly groundnut it is very common in junagadh and so on a aflatoxin problem is serious now this requires more a literacy movement not only regulations and standards coupled with standards education social mobilization and regulation all the three are important uh, education of people uh, social mobilization through local bodies and finally so i would like to suggest two things to them in this literacy movement one is we have the modern information technology we are one of the leaders the government has set up over 90000 90000 in along the villages what they call common service centers these are all with facilities for computerization internet and so on and they can be used very much also to promote literacy like what as in premji foundation and others are doing secondly i think we should uh, make use of our elected local bodies very large number of women or 50% are women at least one woman and one male member in every local body to be trained as a community food safety managers they are very effective i am mentioning it because my own center has been training community hunger fighters community climate risk managers they do extraordinary work i think this is an untapped resource of a great resource the uh, over 170000 1,070,000 uh, people, uh, women who, who are members of these local bodies, and equal number of men, and so on. So there are tasks, and uh, but again, I want to express our gratitude on behalf of the scientific community to our Rashtrapati for considering this function as sufficiently important for him to give time, because I think it it has it has a message. It is a very powerful message that food safety is fundamental to food security. Thank, thank you very much. I now request Professor K V Thomas, Minister of State with the independent charge of Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Government of India, to deliver the presidential address. Respected Rashtrapati Sri Pranab Mukherjee Ji, Dr M S Swaminathan, renowned agricultural scientist and member of Rajya Sabha. Sri Pankaj Agarwal, Secretary, Department of Consumer Affairs. Sri Absal Amanullah, Director General, Bureau of Indian Standards. Delegates from both central and state governments, with a view to achieving a holistic approach. to ensure food safety requirements and introduction of a comprehensive sanitary control system the bss recently released indian standards on good hygiene practices good manufacturing practices and food retail management considering the importance and relevance of the role of food adulteration in food safety transaction the bas has also formulated indian standard on quick methods for detection of adulterants contaminants in common food products with a view to create awareness among the stakeholders regarding these food safety standards bas has organized a series of seminars at major state capitals such as chennai mumbai 
Kolkata as also in Cochin in Kerala, which were inaugurated by the honorable governors of the respective states. Now this national seminar being organized today by the BAS is mainly to discuss the recommendations arrived at the seminars held in the past and draw up a roadmap for future course of action in this important area. These recommendations on surveys to be carried out, getting involvement of local authorities, development of simple and cost-effective methods to ensure food safety, training needs of staff, creation of awareness among public. There are so many perils confronting a consumer in a food market. If some are of one's own choice, some concern the quality and safety aspects of the food available for consumption. This will focus on providing minimal checkpoints for ensuring safety of street foods by assuring food security for a large number of rural, urban and migrant populations in terms of hygiene and quality. Let me assure that these minimal standards will act as a bridge between the street food vendors and the consumer of street food and ensure that the street food con conforms to specified standards and hence are safe. With these words, I would like to conclude my speech. I hope that today's national seminar will generate an interesting debate and come up with actionable recommendations for all stakeholders, be in government or industry, to resolve all the challenges that face us in ensuring that our ultimate aim of safe food for all the people becomes a reality. Thank you very much. Jai I now request Professor K.V. Thomas to release Indian standard on street food vendors, food safety requirements, IS 1606-2012, and present the first copy of this standard to the President of India. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my proud privilege to request our chief guest, Sri Pranab Mukherjee, the President of India, to kindly deliver the inaugural address. <laughs> 